Welcome back to the Begin Within Health Show. I'm your host, Nate Slager, and I've got an interesting one for you today. I've got a fun one for you today here on this short Tuesday episode. This is something that I share just about every single time that I have the opportunity to speak with a group, whether it is one of our webinars that we do with Begin Within, whether it is uh, a, a live Zoom presentation, I have the opportunity to go and do some, we do lunch and learns and things like that from time to time with different companies. Um, every time I have an opportunity to speak on the topic of health and fitness and personal improvement, I'll say, because I've also talked to professionals in the realm of just leadership coaching and improving the way they're showing up at work outside of, you know, health and fitness. I share this quote with them, and we've had it here on the podcast before, but I don't believe that I've ever had a solo standalone episode just about this quote. And I want to share it with you, and I want to take some time to break it down a little bit and tell you why I believe this is such a powerful message. It's encapsulated in this quote. This is a quote by a man by the name of Dale Carnegie. Worth checking out. He has a, he has a lot of different little tidbits and a lot of wisdom to share in the realm of personal improvement and showing up as the best version of yourself that you possibly can. Here's the quote that I love so much. If you are not in the process of becoming the person you want to be, you are automatically engaged in becoming the person you don't want to be. If you are not in the process of becoming the person you want to be, you are automatically engaged in becoming the person you don't want to be. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that such a great quote? I love the idea of there being out there a person that I want to be, a person that you want to be, and also potentially there's a person out there that we don't want to be. There's a version of ourselves that we do not want to become. What I love about this quote is it gives us the secret it helps us to see, you know, what's the difference between me becoming the person I want to be or me becoming the person I don't want to be. And the answer is being in the process of becoming the person that you want to be. Being in the process of becoming more like that person. Being in the process, being in the process of becoming the person you want to be, keeps you from becoming the person you don't want to be. Isn't that great? And if we're not in the process, we're automatically engaged in becoming the person we don't want to be. Such a powerful quote. The word that I love, the word that I love to highlight Because I I think most people, I'll digress for a moment here, I think most people would agree when they hear the statement, when they read it, oh yeah, that makes sense, That, that, that makes a lot of sense. But here's the thing that is so easy to overlook in this powerful quote, and it's the word process. That's the word that I like to highlight. That's the word that I believe needs to be highlighted. Because it's not, he's not saying just try to be the person that you want to be and then, then you won't become the person that you don't want to be, right? Just try. If you're not trying to become the person you want to be, you're automatically engaged in becoming the person you don't want to be. That's not what he's saying. He's saying if you're not in the process, that there's a process to this thing. There's a process to becoming the person that you want to be. And if you're not in the process, then you're automatically engaged in becoming the person 
you don't want to be. Process. There's a, a process. There's a procedure. There's a way to do it. And it's important for us to acknowledge that. We're not just trying. We're not just, you know, blindfolded, throwing throwing darts at whatever and seeing where they hit. There's a process to this. And with health and fitness, I think it's so important to talk about it because that's really the thing that gets us most excited, isn't it? It's that we're becoming a better version of ourselves. We're becoming, through improving our health and our fitness, we're becoming the person that we each want to be. But in order to get there, we have to make sure that there's a process to it, right? If we're just trying, we're probably failing. And and yes, trying is important, right? Effort needs to be put forth. And as long as effort is applied, something is happening. I'll give you that. I'll absolutely give you that. But what often happens is we just try, we give it the old try, right? And... We don't get the result that we expected, and then we lose interest and we give up, we get frustrated, we get distracted, we go on to something else that we want to focus on, and we leave this process of becoming the person that we want to be behind in order to chase some other shiny, shiny fun thing that might be out there. We need to be in the process of becoming the person that we want to to be. It absolutely takes effort, but it takes effort applied in a very specific way in order to make sure that there's a process to this. There's a process to continuing to move forward. And of course, we've talked about that so many times here on the show. We've talked about what is involved in that process and what it looks like and all these different elements that have to be part of kind of part of the system, part of the process in order to improve our health and fitness. And, and there really aren't that many, right? But again, we've talked about that as a, a topic for a different episode. But what I want to encourage you to do is to take a look at where you are at and ask yourself, what's the process? If you can break down your process into its different elements, um, into the kind of I do this and then I do this and then I do this and then I repeat it, the process has some repetition. And as we repeat it, we keep moving forward, right? Right. I picture that like little spiral that kind of cycles back and then keeps on moving forward as we keep repeating the process that we're involved in. And health and fitness has one. And when you start to really break it down, you start to understand a little bit more about it, then you start to really move forward. You start to get excited about the results that you're getting. You start to learn about yourself. And as you learn, you can be better informed for the future. So for today, that's what I want to leave you with. Again, stay right here. We're going to keep talking about the process, but it's that quote. If you're not in the process of becoming the person you want to be, you're automatically engaged in becoming the person you don't want to be. You're in the process. I want to tell you that because you're here. Part of the process is being here, is getting education, is continuing to grow, continuing to change your mindset. And if you want to really deep dive into the other elements of the process, check out my coaching program. We're accepting enrollments right now. You can get information at beginwithin.fit slash coaching. Check it out. There we turn this whole thing health and fitness, we put it together into a process so that you can continue to repeat the same types of things week after week after week, just continuing to make progress in the process, right? We're not just boring, same thing over and over and over again, but we're repeating the same process with different inputs and we're going to continue to help you to make progress in the process of becoming the person that you want to be when it comes to health and fitness. And of course, I know those contribute to you 
becoming the real person that you want to be the healthiest version of yourself that you can possibly be right now. Thanks so much for being here. Again, if you check it out, beginwithin.fit slash coaching. Any other questions, you can uh, contact me on social media at Nate Slager. Thanks for listening. I'll talk with you again soon.